to the second Mrs. Ryan on Kalani. I mean third. It's still Anne Harry's wife. Three Mrs. Ryans on Kalani. How funny. Funny? Mmm. Where are those archive boxes? They used to be in the office. Sandra, what are you doing? There are some things that could be mine. Give up. Once Harry wanted you out of his life, that was it. As if you never even existed. We were getting back together. <laughs> oh, Sandra. You don't have to play the grieving widow. I'm not. I was married to him for 29 years longer than you. Hello, Alex Ryan. Yeah. Alex, it's me. Sandra, he's busy. Those archive boxes from the office, where did you put them? Listen, you have no right to go through Harry's files, Sandra. Alex, I'm so sorry. I had no idea she How called you. How dare you upset my son? That's the last thing he needs. Is Mum going off too? I better come back, huh? Oh, look, I can manage. Uh, hey, the minister called for you again about your eulogy. Right. I said you were busy. Yeah, I am. Okay, well, um, don't worry about me. You just do whatever you have to do, all right? Alex, are you there? Yeah, yeah, sorry, Fee. Um, I think I'm going to be a bit longer than I thought. Can you keep those other two apart until I get back? Yes, of course I can. Are you, are you all right? Yeah, just, just a few things to work out, that's all. Okay, bye. and Harry never got on, and now they're never going to get a chance to work anything out. I mean, maybe if there'd been some warning, they could have... Just with a heart attack that bad, I can't believe there was no warning. Did Harry look sick to you? To me? When? Well, on the morning he died, you were there, weren't you? You were borrowing the portable yards. No, no, I got them from Neil Thompson. I thought you went to Kalani. No, I remembered Neil owed us a favour, so I got them from him. Is there a problem? No, it's, it's fine. Sorry I asked. Well, according to standard text, it could be brain disease, nutritional deficiency, virus, toxic plant. Danger, heavy metal poisoning wasn't mentioned. Oh, well, it doesn't have to be from a mine. What about from people dumping stuff? Well, that's why we keep our boundary gates locked, so thanks for the suggestion, but geology and agriculture are quite different fields. Mm. Hey, uh, Regan, could you get those back from your Thompson for me? And Kate, we really have to clean out the tack room. Sure. Yeah. Hey, she's making an effort. You could attempt to do the same. Look, I'll work with her. I don't have to like it. Fine. Pub tonight, you, me, Stevie and Regan. What? Come on, a game of pool, a few drinks. By the end of tonight, you guys will be getting on like a house on fire. Hey, guys, uh, these say property of Kalani. What? Stevie, I thought you said they were Neil Thompson's. Um, well, I guess I got it mixed up then. who goes by the name of Carl Weatherden. What for? Well, do you know him? Are you related? Why do you want to know? It's a personal matter. I think he was a friend of my father's. I, uh, I found this medallion. There's no Carl Weatherden here. Can't help you. Sorry. I'll leave my number. Have a nice day. Post office. Hey, Alex. Mark Witherden. 
You know. Hey. So what do you know about my uncle Carl? Your uncle? Yeah, his dad's brother. Yeah, no one in the family ever talk about him much. Apparently he shot through when he was 15. Joined up with one of those traveling boxing troops. When do you reckon that would have been? Like early 1960s, I guess. Anyway, he had this really big fight and he won it. And then straight after he dropped down dead from head injuries. So, uh, my old man was a boxer too, Mark. He had that, 1964. Harry had that medallion locked up in a box and he never talked about it. Wait a minute. We don't know for sure that Harry killed my uncle. I reckon that's exactly what happened, OK? Me and the old man never talked much. Shouting. Well, that was a different story altogether. I had a feeling there. You never try to get the truth out of your old man? Well, he's not really much the talking type either. Thought you were going to the post office. Mr Weatherden, please, I've come all this way. If there's anything you can tell me about Carl... And I told you we couldn't help. Shake a leg, we've got the Elf property open for inspection in an hour. Thanks anyway. No, not tonight, thanks. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Regan took the portable yards back to Kalani. There was no problem. I suddenly realised why you were acting a bit funny about them. And if you took them without asking, it's fine. I'm Jody, sure that... You know how you thought you killed Harry? It's the worst ten hours of my life. But then we found out he died of a heart attack. Yeah. I caused it. What? Well, the morning that he died, I, I did go around there and... I went to get the yards and we got into to a fight. It was a really big one. Guys! Guys running. Um, no, look, you know, we'll catch up. Jodie, Moira's Pike too, so it's just going to be me and Regan? It's fine. We'll catch up. Seriously. Oh, bloody hell. Stevie, what happened? I'm telling you, it's a complete waste of time. Your fault, you fix it. Don't you dare make this my problem, Harry. Of course it's your bloody problem. Huh. But he wasn't fine, was he? He had a heart attack because of me. How the hell do I tell Alex that? <laughs> 